All right, Marie, could you get that for me, please? All right, you guys are doing so, so good. I'm going to have table one come to the carpet. Find your carpet squares, please. Beautiful. I'm going to have table two come down to the carpet. Quickly and quietly. I want to see who can have crisscross applesauce with spoons in their bowls. Let's see. Yes. Oh. Chris got apple. We'll have table three and table four come down to crisscross applesauce. And I'm trying to see who the quietest friend is. Who is the quietest friend? Level zeros. Thank you for that, Monte. Let's have level zeros. Level zeros. And last but not least, table five. Please come on down. remember on Monday yeah. when Miss P taught her lesson? Yeah. What book did you guys read? Arthur's Thanksgiving. Arthur's Thanksgiving. And what did you learn in Arthur's Thanksgiving? Arthur's yes. Remembers the book? Yes, yes? Yes. yes. All right. So we are going to read this book again, but we are going to find something that is called adjectives in the book. Who knows what an adjective is? Can somebody raise their hand and tell me, Kelly? What is an adjective? Something to describe. To describe. So can somebody raise their hand and tell me what a describing word is? So, Aiden, what is a describing word? Can you give me an example of that? Can you speak up? What was that? A describing word? Oh. What, yes, Amaya? Describing, describing, um, like describing falls, describing elephants, describing purple. So describing it people. Right, so you can describe people, right? You and can say, right. So Amaya mentioned that you can describe Logan. Right you can describe something as being purple, right? You also said awful. You can describe somebody as awful. But no, not awful. Like oh, Arthur. Nice. You can describe Arthur. And, um, and the seasons. And the seasons, right. Awesome. So we are going to reread this book, okay? But we are going to use, we are going to use my friend. You guys remember who she is? What is his name? Do you guys remember his name? What is his name? Not Pickles. His name is Squawk, and he is Squawk the Talking Dog. Okay, so raise your hand if you remember how Squawk works. Yes. He comes to you. So, Bree, you just raised your hand, correct? So, here comes Squawk, right? So, Squawk is now in Bree's hands, correct? So, should, let's see, hmm, should Holland be talking? No. Should Matthew be talking? No. Should Monte be talking? No. Should I even be talking? No. Who is the only person that should be talking? Bree. 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 Very good. So, everybody remembers. Squawk is the person who talks. Right. So, I'm going to have. The teacher has Squawk, the teacher talks. Yes, very good. Okay, so are you guys ready? Yay. We are going to reread Arthur's Thanksgiving, and we are going to search for what? Um, what are we searching for, Matthew? Do you remember? We not not quite. We are searching for something. 
something called Amaya? It starts with an A. Uh, adjective. Adjective. Very good. Uh, because uh, because it says kill. Very good. Okay. Arthur's Thanksgiving. a pin drop. Mr. Ratburn was about to announce the director for the Thanksgiving play, The Big no, Turkey I, Hunt. I, Arthur chewed his pencil. I hope he picks me, whispered Francine. They all held their breath. Did anybody hear an adjective? I want you guys to turn and talk to a partner to see if you guys found the adjective. There was one adjective. Remember, adjectives are what words? Dis a. Describing a. words. Macaroni cheese? I don't even know how to say anything. All right. Let's raise your hand and see who found the adjective. Who found the adjective? Can you go pick a friend? Who found the adjective? Maya. Did you find the adjective, Maya? What was the description word? chosen Arthur to direct the play, said Mr. Rapperin. He handed Arthur the script. Me? The director? said Arthur. Oh no, grumbled Francine. This is going to be a disaster. Arthur's first job as director was to assign parts. The narrator would have the most to say, but the turkey, the symbol of Thanksgiving, had the most important role of all. Secretly, Arthur was glad he wouldn't have to be the part of the turkey. But who would play that part? At lunch, Francine gave Arthur two <coughs> chocolate cupcakes. She wanted to be the narrator. Buster even let Arthur borrow his Captain Zoom spaceman. He wanted to be Governor William Bradford. Being the director seemed like fun. Arthur thought Francine would make a good turkey. Never, said Francine. I want to be the narrator. Besides, I have the loudest voice. No doubt about that. Francine would be the narrator. Arthur showed Muffy a drawing of the turkey costume. Lots of feathers, said Arthur. It's a very glamorous role. 
Yuck! Bomb atrocious, squealed Muffy. I should be the Indian princess. I have real brains. Brain, I've saved the most intelligent part for you, explained Arthur. No way will I be the turkey, answered the brain. I'll be the Indian chief. Okay. So I want you guys to turn and talk again to your partners, or you guys can choose a different partner. Choose a different partner this time. Turn and talk and think about what adjectives, what describing words you guys heard on that page. Narrator is the person that talks over the story. Like, I'm the narrator, because I'm talking over the story. No, he's my You can't do the same partner. Oh, you can do, let's switch partners, okay? But let's be kind to our friends, please. No, we can't. Kind to our friends. No, we can stay with the same partner. We can stay with the same or switch. Or you guys can get in a small group. How about small groups? Guys, I'm going to be in my small group. Her voice is loud, isn't it? So loud is an adjective. Very good. <laughs> loud. All right. Does anybody have a different adjective that they came up with? Monte, let's, can you bring the um, log to Monte, please? No, I don't have an adjective. I would like for you to bring it to Monte, please. And thank you. That was not very kind, okay? Do you have to hand it to him? And do feathers. It? You heard feathers? That's almost one, but feathers is a noun. A noun, person, place, or thing. Feathers are a thing. That was close, though. Yes, Bree? Real braves. So she's describing her braves, I suppose, yes. But I think she said something else that caught my eyes and ears. Okay? She said it's a very glamorous role. Alright? Glamorous role. Yes. Just toss it over. It's 
a very glamorous role. Um, Not quite. Miss um, Kelly, can you bring the swag to Miss Kelly? Glamorous. That is an adjective. Why is it an adjective, Miss Kelly? Um, because it describes. What does it describe? Um, how she oh, yeah. the faculty cannot be here with it. Thank you. It describes her role in the play. It's a very glamorous role. Okay? So we'll put that one down as well. All right. Let's reread this last section. Okay? And I want you guys to have your eyes and ears. Oh, can I see your guys' eyes? Eyes on me? Oh, Holland, let's try that again. Eyes on me? Awesome. Okay, let's reread this last paragraph together and let's open our listening ears to see if we find one more adjective. Brain, I've saved the most intelligent part for you, explained Arthur. No way will I be the turkey, answered the brain. I'll be the Indian chief. Oh, eyes and ears, please. Miss Kelly, can we sit on the pockets? Thank you. Yes. Not yet, friend. Ready? One more time. Brain, I've saved the most intelligent part for you, explained Arthur. Intelligent. Oh, raise your hand. Matthew. Not quite. What did you say, Ethan? Intelligent. Intelligent. Why is it intelligent? Because it's like Why do people are like really smart. So it's describing, again, it's describing a role? Yeah. All right, we'll put intelligent. We'll put it over here, how about? <laughs> mother 
You should be able to find one. I wouldn't be caught dead in that outfit, said his sister, D.W. Let's talk turkey, said Arthur over the PA system at school. The best part in Thanksgiving play is still open. If you're interested, please come to the office at once. But guess what? Nobody came to the office. I knew it because I was in PA. Very good. In fact, the principal left the office laughing. I have a question for my friend. Do you think that laughing is an adjective? Yeah. Azura, do you think that laughing is an adjective? Uh-oh. Why is it not an adjective? Um, because laughing is like, it's not an adjective. What, do you know what laughing is? What part of speech is it? What do you think? Is it a noun? Is it, do you think it's a noun? Is it a person, place, or thing? Uh, laughing? Uh, no. Kelly, what do you think it is? It's a sound. If you're doing something, you're laughing, right? So what is that? Do you remember? Starts with the v, v. What was it? A verb, right? It is a verb, okay? And sometimes, sometimes verbs and adjectives can get a little confusing. So that's why we have to have it. Arthur put the posters in the cafeteria. He placed ads in the school paper. Guess what? Nobody came. Nothing worked. Nobody came. Nothing worked. What? Arthur had other problems too. Muffy complained about everything. I should be the narrator. My parents are paying for the cast party. She whined. Francie would not take off her movie star glasses. They're good luck, she explained. But she was having a hard time seeing what she was doing. Buster couldn't remember his lines. In 1620, he recited, we sailed to America on the cauliflower. Now, what did Miss P say cauliflower was? Do you guys remember? Amaya, what did she say that was? A vegetable. A vegetable. And can you sail on a vegetable, friends? No, you cannot sail on a vegetable. That is just silly. When rehearsals went from bad to worse, the pilgrims and Indians decided to celebrate their friendship, says Francine. They began to hunt for a turkey. We cooked beans and pumpkin pies, whispered Sue Ellen, and the pilgrim men went off to hunt for a turkey. We made cornbread and picked cranberries, said Muffy. Oops! And the Indian braves went on their own turkey hunt. Oh, eyes and ears. Can you show me eyes and ears? Would you like me to hold them for you? No. Then hold them still, please. Thank you. When it was time for Francine to present the turkey, then it was time for Francine to present the turkey. When the Indians and pilgrims finally found a turkey, she began. Oh, Matthew, eyes on me, please. There was a great rejoicing. Today, when we think of Thanksgiving, we think of turkey. All right, can we sit up, please, for sauce applesauce? Thank you. She glared at Arthur. Don't worry, Arthur promised. I told you I'd find a turkey in time. Matthew? As a last resort, Arthur decided to rent a turkey. But that wasn't such a good idea. Hey, boys, would, would you like me to switch you two? What does rent mean? Hands and feet to yourself, please. Five. What does what mean? What does rent mean? Five. Rent means it's like you borrow. Sometimes whenever you rent something, buy something. You, you, you borrow you it and you give it back. You rent okay. Hey, Matthew, can I have you sit on the red row, please? Thank you. If you don't get a turkey by tomorrow's performance, said Francine, I quit. Oh, yeah. Everyone agreed. No turkey, no play. Yeah. Turkey, no play. Arthur went home to think. He thought about turkeys while he did arithmetic. He thought about turkeys while he played the piano. And he thought about turkeys while he and D.W. did the dishes. Boy, said D.W., if you want something done right, you have to do it yourself. Let your eyes and ears please. The next morning, Francine, Muffy, and Buster stood before Arthur. They weren't taking any chances. 
Do we have a turkey, they asked. Arthur just smiled. The whole school filled into the auditorium. Ooh, said the kids when the lights went out. Shh, said the teachers as the curtain went up. Oh no. Uh-oh. In 1620, we sailed to America on the Mayflower, recited Buster proudly. Phew, said Arthur. The play continued smoothly. <coughs> Muffy didn't drop the cranberries. Now, my friends, I have a question really quick. Did anybody have or hear any adjectives just then on that page? Amaya. Cranberries. Cranberries. So not quite, but we, it can... um. No, that one is not it. That is Wait. a noun because it's a person, place, or thing, right? Oh, what person, is place, it? or thing. Fletcher, did you have your hand up, friend? What did you think? Um, drop. 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 What was that, Miss Holland? Smoothly. Why is it smoothly? Uh, what is it describing? Do you know what it was describing? Do you remember? So let's let's listen to the sentence one more time, okay? The play continued smoothly. So what was it describing? What was smoothly about? Um, the play. The play. <laughs> Very good. So we can add smoothly. What did that one have school, but this one has school? All right. And then I think there's one more that I heard. Did anybody hear one more? Amaya? this top part again so I want everybody to have their listening ears listening ears in 1620 we sailed to America on the Mayflower recited Buster proudly what do you guys think say it on the count of three one two three proudly proudly very good that one was tricky wasn't it that was kind of hidden proudly so the play is a person, place, or thing, remember? So that is a noun. That is a noun. All right, eyes and ears. Oh, Fletcher, eyes and ears. Oh, sorry. Four eyes and ears. I'll wait. Let's see with level zero voices. Ethan, level zero voices, please. Thank you. The brain had his costume on correctly. The Sue, Sue Ellen said her lines in a loud, clear voice. And Francine had even taken off her movie star glasses. Then it came time for Francine's big speech. She crossed her fingers and began. When the Indians and pilgrims finally found a turkey, there was a great rejoicing. Today, when we think of Thanksgiving, we think of turkey. There was a lot of fumbling behind the curtain. Arthur took a deep breath. And really quickly, I like how Monte is sitting super duper still, sitting crisscross applesauce, hands in his bowl. I will take that away. I got my tears in my Please keep it in your lap, sir. Please and thank you. With the level zero. There was a lot of fumbling behind the curtain. Arthur took a deep breath. He walked on stage. As soon as he did, the audience began to laugh. Arthur turned bright red. Uh-oh, I think I heard one more adjective there. What do you think the adjective is? Close, but something's describing red. It's describing, do you want to guess one more time? Think, think, think. Okay, I'll hop over to Matthew. Matthew, what is it? It is bright, because guess, oh, eyes and ears. Matthew, say that one more time for the whole class. Bright. Bright, because it is describing red, right? It can be a dull red. It can be kind of like a silly red, maybe. But it's a bright red. Very good. Can we sit crisscross applesauce? 
with a bubble in their Ethan mouth. Ethan pulled me by the leg. That's, that's Gord's spot. He's in Gord's spot. Yeah, so wait, wait, wait. Big one. We can't see. Oh, I know. It's a snack. Oh, it's a snack. Wait, look. This is big. Mm -hmm. Hello, 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 I pressed the play button. Okay. Oh, oh, and your, oh, Matthew, and your carpet square, please. It's okay, Maya, we're going to keep it on. Can you turn it up? What is an adjective? What is an adjective? Check it out. An adjective is a part of a speech that makes reading and writing more exciting for you and me. Listen, here's how it works. Adjectives and nouns, they work together to help make your reading and writing so much better. If you got to have a noun like teacher, house, or door, then the adjective describes the noun and tells you more. Mommy is a noun that is a person. Now let's say some adjectives that describe and tell you more about the mommy. She is a good mommy. She is a funny mommy. She is a kind mommy. She is a sweet mommy. Good, funny, Kind, sweet are all adjectives that describe the mommy. <laughs> School is a noun that is a place. Now let's say adjectives that describe and tell you more about the school. It is a new school. It is a big school. It is a friendly school. It is a safe school. New, big, friendly, safe are all adjectives that describe the school. Hope is a noun that is a thing. Now let's say adjectives that describe and tell you more about the boat. It is a fast boat. It is a fishing boat. It is a wooden boat. A wooden boat. It is a whale boat. A whale boat. Fast, fishing, wooden, whale are all adjectives that describe the boat. What 
is an adjective? What is an adjective? Okay. 